What's going on YouTube? I know it's been quite a while since I made uh, my last video, so that's my bad. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and do a gear review today. I also did not charge my camera battery up, so this is going to have to be a quick one, and that is also my bad. Um, I've been really busy lately and, you know, been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of work, so I just haven't had time to come on here and make as many videos. But I have bought new clothes and stuff uh, recently, so I can do some pickups reviews if you guys want. But this is going to be a very, very informal review, so if you're finding this review by searching it, you know, don't come at me for not having all the sweet panning shots and, and all this other stuff. I just wanted to get on here and quickly talk about this bag. Um, and this is the Osprey Farpoint 70 bag. Um, it is like a backpacking travel bag. And I bought it for my trip to Europe. I just flew into London and went to France, uh, traveled all around France uh, last week for about 10 days. And I brought this bag with me and it, I had just purchased it right before the trip. So it was the first trip that I used this on. And I kind of just wanted to talk about like the goods and the bads and just overall thoughts on it if anybody's looking. So first I want to start off with the size. So this, this bag has two parts, right? So it has this front, it, it, it zips up as one part, but you can actually unzip this front little pack and then you have this big pack um, as well. So they can be separated. Now, one thing when I was looking up reviews about this bag is everyone was saying, you know, when you unzip this little bag, you cannot carry on this part. Like, oh, people were saying, oh, it's too big. Like, there's no way they'll let you carry it on. Um, I want to say that I, I flew Delta, so I don't know about every airline, but I flew Delta and I was able to carry both bags on every single flight, all four segments, um, didn't have to check the bag at all and it fit perfectly in the overhead. So just want to kind of clear that up if anybody's watching this and wondering if they'll be able to bring it in as a carry on. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it's zipped up as one, you know, you, you have this side handle, you can carry the whole thing. Um, you have this top handle as well, but what's better if you want to have it as one is if you unzip this back part, right? It brings out some straps as well as hip straps at the bottom. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but essentially you can roll this up and there's Velcro right there and you can tuck that, that flap right into there after you roll it up. So it becomes essentially just a backpack, right? So that's, that's super, super cool. And then if you want to just carry it like a duffel, or if you're like putting it in the overhead on the plane, you just zip it right back up and boom, it's a duffel bag again. Um, I will say that, you know, the, the, when you're using it as a backpack, the support is great. Like the, the hip support is great and it makes, the weight uh, not as much be like uh, pressured on your back for lack of a better word and you have ways to adjust it so you have straps up top to kind of pull it up more you have these straps to pull the uh, shoulder straps tighter to your chest and then of course you can adjust the the waist uh, straps as well so I will say that and, and I'll get to this in a moment um, I will say while I rarely wore it on my back this big pack um, when I did, it felt good. It didn't feel like there was too much, you know, um, stress on my back. Now, let's want, let's say we want to separate these these bags. So there's clips here, right? So you just unclip those, and there's clips down here as well. I'm trying to show this as good as I can in the video. Once again, super informal. And then there's a zipper down here, right? And it buckles in. So I'll just unbuckle that clip at the bottom if I can and then you just zip the small bag off right so you just it's pretty easy so boom you have them separated now so this one can be worn on your back and then you would essentially just carry this like a duffel um, what you can also do is I, I think this looks weird so I wouldn't do it but some people do is you can when you have them separated you can put this one on your back as well, just like I showed you, you unzip this and roll it up. And then you can attach this to this and have this pack on your front and this one on your back. So it's like, you know, like it reminds me of like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle almost. You have like these two shells, like one on your back, one on your front. Um, so you can wear them together like that and still use this as a backpack. 
Um, getting into this pack here, this is the, so this is uh, 15 liters and this is 55, but together they make a 70. So this one right here, a bit too small. Um, and a lot of people complain about this. So you'll see like, here's my arm, here's the pack. It's really small. Um, you have two water bottle pockets on the front, which if this pack gets too full, the water bottle pockets are basically useless because the pack bulges. And so then there's like not enough room to put anything in there. Uh, it does have a buckle on the front here and some adjusters. So I did use this while hiking and it worked really well while I was hiking. It was nice and lightweight. I was able to fit my water bottle in it as well. Then you have a little small pocket up here with a little clip on the inside. And excuse me that I'm looking over here. This is where um, I can see if I'm showing everything on screen. And then the inside you have a little zip pocket here. I just have a book in there. And then you have like a computer tablet spot and it can Velcro on like that. So a couple pockets. Um, I will tell you, you're not going to fit a very big laptop in here. You might be able to fit a 13 inch. Uh, I brought my iPad Pro with me an 11 inch and that fit perfectly fine. But um, I have a 16 inch laptop uh, that I use on the regular and that would 100% not fit in this. So that's the day pack. And then looking at the this major pack here by itself, you do have some straps here at the bottom. So like if you were using this for hiking or something, you could you know roll up like a sleeping pad or a sleeping bag or a tent or something and then tighten that. I ended up one day just putting a hoodie in there, rolling it up and just tightening it on. And then if you open the pack up, this is where it's kind of, you know, it, you just don't get much separation. So this is what the inside looks like. You have one pocket up here, which is where I put like my boxers and my socks basically. And then um, you have just the one compartment and you have these straps you can use to tighten everything down. But for me, they didn't really help that much. I will say that this pack holds a, like a decent amount. So like I said, I was in Europe for about 10 days. And what I did is I bought packing cubes on Amazon, little, you know, material packing cubes. And I just rolled stuff up and put them in there to make everything more compact. And it works great. So I was able to carry like eight t-shirts, you know, boxers and socks for 10 days. Um, I was able to carry a hoodie, a rain jacket, my headphones, um, multiple pairs of pants, multiple pairs of shorts, you know, it, it held a lot. Like it held what I needed to go to Europe for 10 days. And honestly, that was pretty surprising because when I first got the bag before I started packing it, I was a little concerned. I was like, Oh, maybe this isn't as big as I thought it was. One thing that works out great for it is although it's not that big, like lengthwise, you can fill it up pretty high and it will still zip. So you can kind of stack things on top of each other. And there's a lot of room down here at the bottom. So like I was able to put like two packing cubes down just down here, plus something on top of it. And then you can stuff the sides and everything. So honestly, like you can fit a lot of stuff in here. And I was pleasantly surprised. I will say that once you start stacking everything up, it makes it a lot harder to zip this backpack on the front. So I learned that the hard way. Um, I basically carried them separately the entire trip. Because I rented a car, I didn't really need to carry this pack around. But even when I did need to carry it for blocks and blocks and blocks, I ended up just using the, uh, the handles like on the side and carrying it like a duffel bag, getting a nice little you know workout for my arm. But that's where I kind of wish that like a shoulder strap was included to make it more that could like zip in that could make it more like a duffel because I just didn't see much reason on my trip or have much of the opportunity to zip them together. Um, like I said, when this one's super full, it makes this really hard and awkward to zip on top. And I had some valuable stuff in this one, like my camera and all that. So I didn't want to like put the bag down and then I hit this pack with all the weight from this and I'm like breaking my camera or something. I mean, overall it, this, this pack is $200. So overall, like it is a really, really great pack, but it, to me, it has very specific uses. So like I said, I have a large laptop and so I won't be using this on trips where 
I need to bring my laptop because there's just no safe way to put my laptop. You can't put it in here and then in here it would just be like in the overhead bin in the plane or whatnot. So there's there's no real way to bring my laptop. So when I'm on a trip where I need to be doing work, I can't bring this bag. Also, when I'm on a trip where I have a car or somewhere I can stash my bag all the time, there's not really a need for this bag. Like this bag is more for the backpacking trip where you're in Europe and you're taking trains and you're going place to place and you need to have everything with you at all times because you don't have like a hotel room or somewhere to stash it in. So essentially, I love this bag. I rate it high, uh, but for very specific purposes. Like for me, if I was going to use this on more trips, I would need this pack to be a bit bigger and I would need this one to have like a shoulder strap. So when I'm carrying this on my back and this separately, it's I don't have to always hold it by the handle because it, it got tiring after a while. Um, so if you're going on very specific trips where you need to have your bag with you at all times, highly, highly recommend this bag. Um, it still looks brand new. I, you know, had so much stuff in it, nothing ripped, nothing broke. And overall, it was just a great bag to have on that specific trip. Um, I won't be going on any like backpacking trips for the near foreseeable future. So I am actually going to be returning this because I got it from REI and it just doesn't meet my needs for, you know, or my, my standards for other trips that I'll be taking in the near future. Anyway, I, I really hope I covered everything. Um, as you could see, I, I didn't uh, edit this video at all. Like I'm not cutting anything out at all. And so I was kind of just rapid firing all my thoughts, everything that I felt about the bag and, and everything that I could remember without writing it down. Um, I am appreciative of this bag. It got me through my trip in Europe and it worked out great. Um, like I said, if you want to pick it up, it is $200, uh, at least at retail. And I can include a link below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all who stick with me even when I don't post for months. I promise you I'm not going anywhere. I just can't post maybe all the time. But thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.